Hello. Husky's back again with more Los Angeles Kings franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Interesting. I'm super, why don't I have... There we go. They say, why don't I have sound on my Xbox? But we're back. Uh, round two, taking on the Edmonton Oilers this time. Uh, we had a we had a close series with Vegas, right? That was a six game series. Uh, they definitely got carried by their top line, but our team kind of came came to life for us when we needed it most. It was a very low scoring series, but our big guns got the job done when we needed them most, kind of. I guess not. I mean, mm. yeah, mm. it was just a slow. It was a low-scoring, boring defensive series. It was like basic Kings playoff hockey back from when they were there in their heyday. But we're back. Edmonton. Edmonton is a team that we see quite often in these playoff runs over the past couple seasons. Um, they're a very good team usually. This year, however, they're wallowing in the bottom. 91 points, barely made the playoffs. Uh, 43 points. Uh, they barely could score. We scored 26 more goals. Uh, and we gave up nearly 30 less. We gave up 28 less. So, I mean, ideally, we're a significantly better team. Uh, they have the best power play in the division, but again, it's only 19%. Uh, penalty kill is pretty good, but they take a lot of penalties. And they're not, they're pretty meh, both home and away. Again, they barely made the playoffs, which is a bit strange because this is a team that, oh, you know, I don't think Manlo's there anymore. I think he, he bailed, if I remember correctly. But let's go see what Edmonton brings to the table. I know they had Eric Comrie and Nett, and they had Manlo and McDavid. But I think Manlo went to free agency. Yeah, they don't have Manlo anymore. They've got Glenn Morris, Connor McDavid, Jesse Puyarvi, Owen Fox, and Leon Dreisaitl, Yuri Kennens. So, I mean, losing Manlo was big, but this Glenn Morris guy doesn't seem like an awful player. Shooting at 22% in the playoffs here, 4 goals and 18 shots. Over his regular, regular season stats, 22 goals, 54 points. I'm sure McDavid is still doing oh no he only had 59 points so losing Manlo really hurt his point production I bet although he had 102 points last year and I think he was gone last year PRV 42 points so they really bank on McDavid scoring on that first line Yuri Kennan's so the second line doesn't really have a goal scorer Kennan's had 14 in the regular season Dreisaitl had 17 Fox had 19 so they're still getting Fitzmorris Helmerson Haynes Komutov, 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 I don't know. Nick Schmaltz, Shashnikov. Shashnikov was six points so far. Damn, he already got a third of his points from the regular season. Uh, again, decent forwards, but they, I, goal scoring has to be an issue. Like, McDavid's a good goal scorer, but he, he had 35. Nobody on the team else had 20 or more, so... I, f I find it hard to see where they're going to find offense. And then defensively, they're just kind of average. 83, 84, 82, 81, 81, 80. Like, they don't have any glaring weaknesses, although the Enforcer is a pretty big weakness. But, I mean, Larson, Nurse, Clefbaum, like, they didn't change their defense at all from... They got Rasmus Dahlin, but he's only an 84. Like, he didn't really become the franchise defenseman he was expected to be. And in that, it's still Eric Comrie, 88 overall. He's getting up there, though. He's 33. He had a good first round. His goals against is pretty high, but save percentage is pretty good. We should be able to... I, I'm i not too scared of this team. I don't really see what they're going to bring to the table that we can't handle. But we always find a way to make these series interesting, just despite whatever's on the opposing team. So let's see how we did against them. So we got them early. We beat them 3-0. That's a good start. I'm going to assume we beat them... Yeah, we beat them five to one, two to one. So so far, we've outscored them ten to one in three games. Oh, they got us one nothing. So Comrie stole one. 
still three one and zero, and we outscored outscored them ten to ten to two, or ten to three. I like our chances, so we're gonna hop in game one and see how we do. Big start, boys. All right, that's not a big start. That's yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> there we go, Dylan Larkin on the board. I think I'm trying to remember what players were on my team with Comrie. I think I had Zadina. Besser and Larkin. I don't think I had Pasternak when Comrie was here, so there's only a couple of guys that can remember Comrie's king days. But Ralph Chen, man, shut out in game one, one nothing. Our offense just is not, not clicking real, real great right now. That's okay though. We, I mean, you win the game. That's all that matters. But it's a little concerning to see the offense struggling just a tad. There we go. Early goal from Riley Smith. I like it from the corner, or from the high, uh, from the point. There we go. There we go. Swanson Larkin. We're we're opening it up here a little bit. Let me go ahead and crack open my breakfast. Ah, nothing like a can of Coke for breakfast. Ooh, Connor McDavid. How the mighty have fallen. Edmonton is nothing without man, though, man. There's only so much Connor McDavid can do by himself. There we go. 2 nothing early on. That's what I love to see. Alright. More of the same, boys. More of the same. Ooh, alright. Swanson got off an early start, but PRV answered. It's alright. 1-1 one one after 1. 1-1 one one after 2. Shots are pretty low, but they are beating us. Oh, Leon Drysaddle gets one from the left dot. Going into Edmonton is proving to be difficult. They're doing a good job of uh, suppressing our offensive attack here. Let's see if we can find some luck here late in the third. Can we get a bounce? A lucky dribbler? Oh, Komatov. Oh, Pasternak scored with three seconds left, or with two seconds left, but we'd already given up the empty netter. Probably just caught Comrie skating to the bench or something. Something silly. Alright, so Edmonton, Edmonton takes game three. We're on to game four. Come on, we need to get back on the horse here. We need to find an offensive explosion. Nothing. Zero, zero. Come on. Oh, two nothing Edmonton. Shoshnikov and McDavid. Oh, Owen Fox, three nothing. Edmonton's found their offense. We need to find ours, boys. Come on. Oh, Kumatov. 4-0 Edmonton. That's not great. I might have to go mess with the Lions, man. Offense just isn't clicking right now. Yeah, let's go look at our lines, see if we can figure something out here. Cause that's even at, even through the first round, our our scoring wasn't great. We're going into game five, tied at two after winning two pretty significant games. But let's see if we can uh. Let's see if we can figure something out here. So, Edda Lines. Um. I really don't know what I would be able to change, man. Like. I'm going to try Kunin on the first line. And put Larkin with Pasternak and Besser. And see if that sparks it. See if Larkin can spark that second line. We need something. In that first line, Zadina and Gogol just haven't been what we need them to be. So we'll we'll move Larkin around, see if that sparks something. Let's hop in. Game five. Come on, boys. You gotta pick up your goaltender. Get some offense. There we go. Cutler on the board. One nothing. Nice. Braden Point, Spot check. So I changed our top six and our bottom six has three goals. That makes sense. <laughs> Hey, I don't care. As long as somebody's getting goals, we needed to an answer that uh was back-to-back -to -back tough. Nice William Gogol on the board from the power play. Nice, very nice. So Edmonton beats us four nothing, and we answer right back with a four nothing win. Do I have my delay on? I'm gonna be so upset if I don't. All right, I do good. Notice I forgot that in the last video. Alright, game six. 
in Edmonton. The games in Edmonton didn't do the greatest for us the first time around. Can we get off to an early start? Can the can the line changes continue? Oh, two nothing Edmonton. They're loving playing at home, man. Two nothing going into the third. We got to make something happen here. Connor McDavid. Oh, Komatov. This guy. It's these two have been killing us, man. Five nothing. I'm calling it there. That's a, that's game. All right. So they beat us four nothing. We beat them four nothing. They come back beat us five nothing. Game seven in LA. Come on, let's get it. This is this is what we need. This is exactly what we need. We need the home game, and we're already on the board. Cutler, nice. That bottom six coming up big when we need it most. Power play early for Edmonton though. Ooh, good kill. Both teams kind of filling each other out. Shots are seven to six. Fifteen minutes in. All right, so a pretty a pretty defensive first period. A couple power plays. Or just one power play to Edmonton. Oh, McDavid gets one from the dot. Power play. Good kill. Would answer the momentum. Oh, another power play. Stay out of the box, guys. Come on. Somebody answer that McDavid goal. There it is. Riley Smith from the boards. I like it. Riley Smith. Oh, but Dolan with one second left in the period. Come on. That can't happen. <laughs> Oh, Fitzmorris gets one early in the third. We've taken so many penalties. Look at that. Oh, my God. Nice. Coonan from the corner. Ties it to three. All right. Game seven. Overtime. Can we get the job done? We can. Let's go. Brock Besser finally gets on the board in the round, in the series. Picks a good time to do it. Whew. That was that was close, man. I did not think they'd be able to do that. Oh, Colorado. Nice. This is somebody new. A Central Division team coming to play. All right. Let's go look at the um Pasternak didn't have a single point that series. Oh no, he had one goal. No, I didn't want that. I wanted stats. <laughs> That's not the right. That's not the right panel. Come on. All right. Pashnak had eight points. He only had one that series. Larkin has seven. Riley has seven. Cameron has six. Swanson has four goals. Damn. Cutler has two. They both came in that series. Riley Smith has three. I mean, we have a lot of we have a lot of Costi and Cholowski are really struggling down here. I don't know if that's them or if it's the bottom. I mean, the bottom six has put goals on the board in the last few games, but I feel like those four nothing and five nothing games. Oh, excuse me. With, uh, they were at the center of it. Kunin's a plus seven with five points. I mean, maybe putting him on that first line, maybe that was the key. I don't know. Um, Chen had a rough series. 940 save percentage and a 182 goals against him. So his stats are still really good, but he had a rough couple of games there where he did not get much help. But as always, um, comment section for predictions, criticism, suggestions, whatever and anything. And last but not least, thank you for watching. And I will see you on Friday for the conference finals.